Hogmanay. When I was little, we had summer, and my birthday, and snowballs, and Christmas. I liked Christmas the best. Oh. But what I really liked was that after Christmas, we went to stay with my granny. Willie came too. Mummy, Daddy and me slept in the sitting room. I slept on a blow-up bed. Hey. Mummy and Daddy slept on the sofa. It grew into a bed. It was exciting staying at Granny's after Christmas. One morning, Mummy said, Tig is a very special day today. Do you know what day it is? It's Hogmanay. What's Hogmanay? Hogmanay is the very last day of the year. Hogmanay is the very last day of the year. So that means no more days in the universe. So no more days. There will be lots more days, because tomorrow will be New Year. Like there's going to be more days. We've got the whole new year. Exciting things. Yeah. I didn't like it being the last day. I liked this year. When we went into the town, it was so exciting. It was like a big party. There was a fun fair in the streets with a big wheel and a carousel. Everything looked magic. And music everywhere. Hogmanay was a special day. Hogmanay was fun. Everyone seemed so happy. No one seemed to mind it was the last day. When it got dark, there was a big procession with fire torches. A band played with bagpipes. Bagpipes. When we got home, Granny had made a steak pie. pie. Steak pie, my favorite. It was so good. Is it still Hogmanay, Mummy? I just tell Hogmanay, Mummy. Yeah, it is, Tig. Isn't that exciting? Mummy, look at my tiny teeth. When it was bedtime, Mummy said, Tig, tonight you're going to sleep in Granny's bed. Isn't that exciting? Why am I sleeping in Granny's bed? Because Hogmanay goes long into the night and that is when you and Because me... Hogmanay is a very long day. Then Granny came in with a little tree. This is my special Hogmanay wish tree. Because this is my special Hogmanay wishing tree. Everybody has to make a wish. And once you've made your wish, you pop a fairy onto the tree. What do I wish, Granny? I said. What wish? Well, you could wish for something good to happen in the new year. I don't know, I said. I don't know, Granny. Oh, well, you think about it. And that's your wee fairy to pop on the tree. You have to think, said Granny. I was sad. I didn't want a new year. Wee! Hey, Tig. No need to be sad. Hogmanay might be the last day of one year, but tomorrow is the first day of a brand new year. But what about this year? This year will always be there, as happy memories of summer and snowballs and your birthday and Christmas. But tomorrow will be a new year, when you can look forward to summer and snowballs and your birthday and Christmas all over again. Yippee! That's why everyone is so excited and happy on Hogman Eye. Everyone is looking forward to the new year. Yes. And what it will bring. So go for it, Tig. Don't be sad. Whoops! Make a wish for a happy and exciting new year. Yes, I thought. I love Hogman A, but I'll make a wish for a happy new year where we can have summer snowballs and my birthday and Christmas all over again. Before I went to sleep, Auntie Shona came in. I just came to put my wish on the wishing tree. Where's Clive? Where's your boyfriend Clive? I said. He's not here, I'm afraid. I wish he was. You're going to wish for that? Why don't you wish for him? I said. Yes. I think I might. Maybe I shall, said Auntie Shona. I've made my wish. 
and popped a fairy on the tree. Shauna and Mummy kiss me night night. When you wake up, Tig, said Mummy, it will be New Year's Day. Good morning, it's going to be New Year's Day. I closed my eyes so my wish would come quickly. When I woke, it was dark. I heard music. I looked into Granny's sitting room. Mummy and Daddy were dancing. Shona was playing her fiddle. Oh, Tig. Oh, sorry, Tig. Is it New Year yet? Is it New Year? I said. No, it's still Hogmanay, said Mummy. Granny's having a wee party. Come and join in. <sighs> we'll go and get the food, Mum. My wish hadn't come true. Is Clive here? I said to Auntie Shona. Is boyfriend Clive here? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, maybe that's Clive now, Shona. When Shona went to the door, she didn't come back with boyfriend Clive. It's Tom. Oh. Shona came back with a man I didn't know. Tom comes from next door, Tig. He's got a wonderful singing voice. Shona wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. Our wishes hadn't come true. Hey, Tig, some wishes can take a long time. Especially when you wake up in the night. But my wish hasn't come true. You've wished for a happy and exciting new year. But you have to wait for a new year to arrive first. New year can't happen just like that. We have to wait until it's exactly the right time. New year will arrive when all the clocks strike 12 o'clock midnight tonight. But hey, wee! Hogmanay makes the waiting fun. So go for it, Tig. Join in Granny's Hogmanay party. And it won't be long now before Hogmanay turns into New Year. Hooray! Yes, I thought. Hogmanay makes the waiting for New Year fun. On we go, heel for heel and toe for toe. Granny and me and Shona dance together. Then Mummy and Daddy came in with some party food. Haggis! The haggis. The haggis looked funny. Suddenly Daddy said, Nearly New Year! It's nearly midnight. Ten! Nine! We all counted backwards. Two! One! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Everyone kissed and hugged. Outside fireworks shot up all over the place. Then the doorbell rang. It was Clive. Auntie Shona was so pleased. Granny was pleased too. When Clive gave her a lump of coal. This will bring us luck too. Mm -hmm. I showed Willie to Clive to say Happy New Year. <laughs> it's only a toy spider. <laughs> then Tam from next door sang. And never brought to mind Should old acquaintance be forgot And all Willie sang too sign. Remember all the friends you have And all the things you've done Remember all the friends you have And all the fun to come Auntie Shona and Clive were happy. All our Hogmanay wishes had come true. It was New Year. We'd have summer and snowballs and birthdays and Christmas all over again. And I love Willie.